Hey, so I am here in Schooner Ridge and we just did a walkthrough with my clients and they are so excited. They're buying their dream beach house here in Duck, North Carolina and everybody's so happy and so excited. But a few days ago, we went through something that was pretty scary and I thought it was definitely worth talking about and wanted everybody to be mindful of. So one of the things that has become a big, big concern, not just on the Outer Banks, but everywhere really, is wire fraud. And through talking to agents within even just my own firm and talking to some of the lenders, we're finding that you've got about a one in three chance of being a victim to this. So what happened a few days ago is my client, Lindsay, checked her email and got what appeared to be an email from the attorney saying, we need you to wire the funds for your upcoming closing. And, you know, we hadn't even seen the final numbers yet. So that was a little bit concerning um and she was just like what the heck this is, seems odd well within a matter of an hour they had repeatedly emailed her wanting to know if she had sent the funds yet so that was a red flag she immediately called me and said hey tammy what's going on so i was able to look at that email y'all so scary it, they actually had the signatures they had the verbiage they had everything they needed for it to look 100 percent like a legitimate email that came from the attorney's office the only reason that I knew it was not is when I looked at the email, I did not recognize the actual domain. So it said so-and-so, the paralegal's name, at title front desk instead of at in the attorney's office. So I immediately picked up the phone, called the paralegal, and she was like, that is absolutely not me. Thank goodness we were able to catch that. Can you imagine sending hundreds of thousands of dollars on this wire transfer and y'all there's not a way to get it back when it's gone it's gone so i'm telling all my clients now do not do anything based on an email obviously not based on a text you need to pick up the phone you need to call your agent you need to call directly to the attorney and verify that that information is correct we can no longer trust our emails. So I just wanted everybody to be aware, take extra precautions. If something just doesn't feel right, trust your gut and always double check, triple check these, these types of things. All right, have a great day.